My name is Jonathan Bartley, I'm co-leader of the Green Party and I am supporting Plate Up for the Planet. Yeah, I mean it started with me going vegetarian uh, about two years ago and it was because my youngest daughter did, she turned 14. Uh, she's passionate about animals, passionate about, passionate about animal rights and no one else in the family was vegetarian. But no, she's got no one to support her, so I did it. And then um, started discussing it with her and saw the arguments, was persuaded um, by the arguments and thought, well look, if I am vegetarian really, I should be going vegan. Um, and I know a number of vegans who seem very, very happy on it. And I thought, well, look, I'll give it a go for a month. I won't commit any more than that. Let's see how, how, it, how it goes. And um, it was fantastic. I felt healthier. I felt I was doing the right thing. It made sense. And I was cooking more as well. And I was cooking some great food. It has been easier than I expected. Um, even eating out, that was one of my things. Because of my job, I do have to kind of grab things on the go. So I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. And I do feel healthier. Hugely, hugely concerned. I mean, climate change is the number one issue that we face, uh, and the you know, one of the massive driving forces behind uh, CO2 emissions, behind energy use, water use, uh, is uh, animal farming. Uh, when you look at the stats, you know, it's lost. Just this morning on Radio 4, we were hearing about um, potential water shortages and having to be more resilient around our water. But then you look at the amount of fresh water that's used uh, in animal farming is absolutely colossal. So yes, the impact on climate change, but also the wider uh, environmental implications, you know, the slurry, you know, is a major, major pollutant as well all round. It just makes sense to go vegan. Not enough. I don't think there's enough acknowledgement uh, of it. I want to see more. I think politicians are slightly wary because they feel that people think they're forcing a, a particular lifestyle on people. Um, and actually, you know, for me, that wasn't the way. It was, I just needed to be convinced, I needed to realise it was easy. We need to create those options, we need to incentivise it, uh, you know, in our public places, in our schools, in our town halls, make that, you know, incentivised uh, to happen, make the transition easy, get, you know, the, the more options on the, on the menu in our supermarkets, wherever you are shopping, uh, and make that transition. And I think politicians are, are just kind of tend to think in legislative terms that it's kind of something they're going to have to force, when actually politicians can lead by example as well, as well as putting forward positive ideas to make it happen. I think I think if politicians get that uh, and they can do it, they can make the case more strongly, but certainly they have to make that case. Really positively, uh, I think I've got a lot more people thinking about it and um, certainly because of the job that I do, because I'm travelling all the time, you know, I, I'm working really, really long hours, even though I'm doing the job share um, with my co-leader. Um, that you know, people say, well, even in that kind of lifestyle, if you can do it, then maybe we can do it too. So it's kind of an, I think, encouragement and incentive. And I think I have seen one or two start to, to move in that direction. The question is, how, how am I going to encourage other people to? I think it is by leading by example, saying this is a positive thing. It's about making the arguments, showing people that it can work, uh, saying, look, look, I can do it. Honestly, anyone can do it. I mean, veganism is uh, incredibly significant within the environmental movement. Um, it's something that can make a massive contribution if we shift just our lifestyle you know, habits. Um, you know, people tend to think that uh, the environment is about recycling. You know, meat eating is such a bigger issue than that. Uh, and the thing that's encouraging to me is it's now not just seen as something within the environmental movement. It's something that is really moving clearly into the mainstream. The number of people that are going vegan is going up. It's seen as the sensible thing to do. And so it's, it's way beyond the environmental movement, which is great. But clearly it's been big in the environmental movement. It's getting bigger. And it's been that which has been driving it. And that's great.